everyone. Uh, Nelly here, and welcome back to my channel. So this video, it's gonna be about um, like makeup I would put on for a job interview. So um, I hope this is helpful for anybody who will soon be going on a job interview. So I, this is like sort of light. This could be also an everyday thing too. Um, but I'll show you how I do my makeup for an upcoming job interview. In my job interviews in the past, this is how I have done my makeup. So uh, let's get it started and let's go. So I am going to prime my face. I have clean hands, clean face. Any primer you have, it is fine. I am super oily everywhere. So I just apply face primer everywhere. Uh, so I'm going to put a yellow corrector on. So I am, for my bags, I mean bags and like dark circle, ah, dark circle corrections. Air is coming out of it. I'm going to spray some of, um, some setting spray. I have the Urban Decay All Nighter, of course, this is the only one I have, and a Beauty Blender. And then, uh, why are my kids' jackets, like, in the way? At least you can't see that one. That one's too far for me to reach, whatever. I have three kids, so. The two little ones are, are home with me all the time. They are just crazy kids, but I love them. They're being good. They're playing right now. And then my oldest, he's in school. Okay, so once you got your concealer on there, I'm going to go in with some foundation. Actually, I have some blemishes around my face, so I'm just going to get a regular concealer. Um, and just dot my face around on the little red dots. My blending brush again. And just tap that in there. I'm going to try to be a little light on this one because the Fit Me, I have Fit Me Matte Poreless. Um, this one's just like a shade darker than me. Um, this foundation so far is really good. I really like this one. Let me use my finger first. And then if I need more, I'll go back and just put more. I am going to go in with the second part of my concealer and uh, just cover up the rest on top of the yellow corrector and the foundation. For this uh, job interview look, I'm not going to contour my, my nose like I always try to do, but I'm um, just going to blend it out now. Sorry if I look tired, you guys. That's because I am. So once that is in place, I want to apply some translucent powder. Any translucent powder that you have is fine. I have the Kat Von D one. So you can totally skip this step, but um, I'm actually... <sighs> Excuse 
too much powder every I'm actually just experimenting here with the um, with this powders because I'm not too familiar with setting powders and just stuff like that I'm gonna get doing fill in my eyebrows like your eyebrows however you can or however you do it it's fine just do your eyebrows the way that the way you do them And then, so once your eyebrows are in place, whatever, I always go back with the little comb part, -ish. and then I always go back and just fix them, brush them, blend in the color, make it a softer color. So then I am going to use... So for like a job, interview, whatever, um, I would recommend to pick the lightest color in eyeshadow. If you're going to use eyeshadow, like a neutral, um, nude color, whatever. So I'm going to use Naked Palette. Uh, sorry. Where is it? So this one is called Nudie, and I'm going to use that one. Um, it is like a neutral brown, soft brown nude color, so any color like that is, um, I would personally pick for a job interview, so, and normally I don't smoke out my eye for a job interview look. Because it looks like I didn't apply anything, but that's the nudie color. That's like a base color. Um, I'm going to go in and use this color. It's called Commando. Create something nice. So. so after that, you're going to want to apply... You're going to want to to apply eyeliners. I'm not going to apply like a whole ton load, like a big winged liner. I'm just going to do as thin as possible as I can. Um, I'll show you where you could stop or where you could keep going on the eyeliner. Um, you could do a wing or no wing, but I'll show you both right now. Hopefully I don't mess this up. <laughs> I've done both looks for countless interviews. Um, I just think it's both ways it's really good to go. Um. All right, so you can stop right there and um, just create this look right here. It is one simple as thin as possible liner and the top or you could put like a tiny wing and then I'll show you how so you create your wing super tiny try not to make the upper liner any thicker than this. At least I try not to. This is sort of like a first impressions type of wing. Um, if you don't want to freak your employers out, your future employers out with a huge massive glamorous wing. Um, so you can keep this one like this no wing super thin um, as ugh, my eye is crying why are you doing that I hate it when my my eye randomly tears up okay so you can keep keep it like this um, no wing super thin or 
you can add a sim to this add a simple small little wing um, still looks very professional and whatever my kids are always fighting like every single day is just no stopping them so super tiny I did the other wing just checking to see if they're both even so there you have it then I'm gonna just dust this off again you don't have to do this whole baking scenario scenario I mean baking situation here I'm just experimenting because I'm not too familiar with the whole baking thing yet um, I don't know if it's right or wrong for me but we'll just see I'm just gonna actually because uh, in this case it did do it um, I'm gonna apply a banana powder under my eye but for um, my lord why why come on sun the sun is not acting right today so then I am gonna go in with some mascara whatever mascara you have um, if you I would recommend if you use false lashes um, for an interview I would actually recommend to um, use the most natural looking false lashes that you have if, um, I wouldn't wear very dramatic ones very thick ones very butterfly -y ones you know um, feathery ones I would choose the most natural ones that I could find yeah so just apply your lashes or your mascara It is up to you if you want a little bit of highlight on the upper bone or not. Um, I have done that before in the past just to give myself like a, um, an awake glow because I like, I personally um, like to have my upper brow bone um, highlighted. So then you can go ahead and uh, just lightly um, highlight that brow bone. Not um, apply some bronzer, but I'm not gonna do any blush. I'm gonna go in with the Hula from Benefit. It's not as pigmented as my Mac. Then you could go in with either a nude lip. Um, I would recommend a nude lip. For the lips, I'm gonna use a nude shimmery-ish lip gloss, but just a little bit because a little bit already goes a long way with this. Okay, so there you go. You could also use this for your everyday look too. Um, so this is how I would wear my makeup for an actual job interview. This is how I would do it and um, this is how I have done it for the past and it's worked out great for me and um, hope you guys liked it and um, so I'll see you guys in the next video. Um, it, I have been running out of ideas lately on what to do if you guys have 
any suggestions, ideas, whatever, let me know in the comments below. I'll be reading it, of course. I only get a few comments for now, <laughs> but um, anybody. So I just need some type of new ideas, encouragement, or whatever to do this. So if you guys liked it, give my video a like, thumbs up, and don't forget to subscribe to my channel. Here goes. And I'll see you guys later. So, peace.